Hey guys, Athena here. So today I'm with another video. Today we're doing a Demire Mall East. Now, you might notice that we kind of started in the middle of the dungeon. Uh, the main reason for this is I forgot to record immediately. So you didn't miss too much. We started at the beginning and we jumped straight down. We pulled the first set of whiplashers, ran them over to the second set of whiplashers with the three treants and we pulled them together. So nothing unique or crazy. We're running with the same group that we did yesterday with the upper city. So we have Delight as Consecrated Strikes. We have Azul as Righteous Flames Dragon's Breath. We have Ahamilla as Pop or Prayer of Preservation. Lab Labana is our Imp DPS, so it's Demonic Persistence. And me as Mana Forged Barrier, Mana Fiend. Now, in this right here, what you guys just saw is pretty straightforward. So right now, so far, what we've done is we've pulled our Whiplashers. We've pulled four packs of them and we've pulled three treants, nothing more. Now, the reason why I really wanted to cover this video, because this video isn't like super crazy in regards to speed. I mean, it's nine minutes, which is pretty impressive for an East. But like, again, there's East that have already reached seven minutes. I think one's right now for seven minutes and 37 seconds. The reason why I really wanted to show this is because this is a non boss summon version. So a lot of people know the route of summon the second boss at the end of the dungeon and you get two bosses and you can clear it really quickly. And that's how you get the fastest speed out of your dungeon period. However, I really wanted to show what the best kind of pulls look like when you're not running a spawned boss. So this one here, we've killed Hydra spawn. Now, Earlier, you would have noticed I threw a lights hammer at those imps and we grabbed uh, the sat tires and we pulled them over as well as the plant when we were killing Hydra spawn. The reason for this was actually to allow us, once we kill the boss up here, to jump down without having to fight anything. We're currently running Aspect of the Pact with two talent point investment. This is to ensure that we have as much travel time speed as we possibly can get because there is a lot of running for groups that do not have the summon boss feature. Now, one little timbit actually about this boss. Apparently, over there on the left side by that pillar that's on the ground knocked over, if you do it properly with the tanking position and your DPS and healers are in the right position, you can actually line a site the sacrifice. I don't know how it works. I don't know how to do it. So I personally don't, especially because, uh, again, I'm still kind of running with pugs. We're mostly just typing to communicate. We haven't fully been like voice calm, talking about strategies and stuff. We're sort of just all kind of winging it together based on what we know from dungeons that we've done. But this week with Corpse Explosion, super incredible for pop, uh, prayer preparation players. Like if you're if you're a pop player, honestly, this is your week. You should be playing non-stop try to get those tanks in there to go and do big pulls for you stack up big heals no awesome so like i said we jump to the left side here we don't want to pull imps now my understanding is that imps do not give any percentage i've been told by a couple people that the last few days that that got changed i haven't tested it yet but my understanding imps no percent so or very low percent that it's not worth chasing so try to avoid them as you can stealth packs here so everyone waited honestly we have a smoke bomb with this team i'm not worried about these packs i basically want to get to the boss as fast as possible smoke bomb or solar beam solar beam is a great option for that to get the ranged group so we can just cleave off the boss as soon as we're done this boss here a lot of the main focus that we need to do at this point is one of two ways now we're going to follow using Aspect of the Pack to run back the whole way that we just went to get back to the tree. A lot of people do argue, though, that it might be faster to just jump down and die. And if you die, you just respawn at the top, you jump down, you run to the tree. I don't know which one's exactly faster. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, if you have Aspect of the Pack, I think it's maybe seconds, if that. Very little. So I personally like the running route. Do what makes sense and works best for your team. At the moment here, not too much really to worry about. 
This boss, you want to kick Shadow Bolt Volley on Tyrannical Weeks, but otherwise, pretty straightforward. We focus the Imp first. Imp died. So we start up packed and we start running back. Now, you'll notice here, as we're running back, so like I said, we pulled the Satires so that we could run past them. But we also pulled that Whiplash, the giant plant ca spell casting plan. If you only pulled the satires, or if you didn't pull any of them and you jumped down and you just pulled the satires, there would be currently a plant blocking our path. But because I pulled them with the first boss and started cleaving it, we don't have to worry about that. So we're nice and clean. When we enter this room, now this is, I get this a lot in these runs when I do this with pug groups, people questioning my percentages because we're at 52% and everyone's like, we need percent. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are we, like, we got to kill stuff. That is intentional. It is intentional. So right next to this tree, there's two sets of vine plant whiplashers. It doesn't make sense to run to these whiplashers uh, right off the bat. So I wait until I've come back to pull them because now they're they're on our way. We're not losing time. We're not backtracking anywhere to get these pulls. So we group up, we just get these perfectly killed. Nice and easy. Now we still need a little bit more percentage. So we go over and we're gonna pull a little bit more. Honestly, we didn't need this full whiplasher pack, but I didn't wanna deal with the treants and I thought these would be faster. So we ended up killing these, getting way more percentage than we need, but that's okay now it's just a quick rundown normally here guys if you're doing this properly what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow the same path that we're doing and jump down and then you're probably gonna want to start pulling the packs you probably can do the two on the left like the two plant packs on the left and then the one plant pack on the right we're not doing that we're gonna do all of it together so I'm going to jump down and I'm just going to pull all three packs together. One thing to keep in mind here that happens, you'll notice it, is Azul, who's our one of our best AoE pumpers, DCs. And Delight accidentally pulled the boss before I was ready, so I, I had to pull it back off of him. But even with a DC, uh, you can see him over there in the corner running into a wall right now. Uh, we still handle this very well without our pack tactics situation. Make sure you have a very good tank and healer combination if you're going to do this combo. And you, you need absolutely either smoke bomb or solar beam to stop these caster lashers. But honestly, don't have to do it this way, guys. When you jump down, you go near those vines. Just walk up, do the first two. And then you could do the second one with the boss if you're comfortable. Otherwise, just, you know, do it by itself and then do the boss. So Azul comes back and we're ready to finish off. All that you have to really worry about with Wild Shaper is kick his regrowth. You have to have a kick on this boss. This boss is so ridiculous. If you do not kick regrowth, you'll basically go back up to like 30% health instantly. And then out heal a lot of your DPS. Mm -hmm. But there it is, very clean, nice, quick, nine minute run of Dire Mall East without doing the boss summon. This definitely would be up to par and pacing with I think the seven minute run if we were able to do the boss summon. But I really wanted to show a non boss summon version because that is kind of important. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the next one.